Welcome back, Tightwads. Last night we were sitting on the couch and realized it felt a little warm in our house and checked the thermostat. It was set on about 74 and the temperature in the house was 79 degrees. So I put my hand up to one of the vents and realized it was blowing not quite cold, but not warm air out of the vents. So I came outside to check on our unit and this is what I found. Uh, you can hear the compressors running, but the fan is not. I do have power to the system because the compressor is running. I can rule that out quickly. Uh, there are two things or three things that could be wrong. There's a fan motor in here that could be bad. The fan itself could be seized, meaning the, the spindle that spins is not working. Or the capacitor could be bad, which is this little silver cylinder back here in the corner. So one way to test it quickly, since as you hear the compressor kick in, is to turn the fan. A symptom of this in your house is that it's blowing, but it's blowing warm air. It might be lukewarm air, it's not really hot air, but it's not cool in your house. Your temperature in your house will continue to rise. So one way is to pull a pry bar, a screwdriver, anything you can get down inside here, and spin your fan counterclockwise. Some people call this the stick test. You can do it with a stick. Um, I prefer to do it with something metal so it doesn't break off something inside my air conditioner. But once I spin it, the fan actually starts going. The capacitor's job is to store energy that turns on the compressor and turns on the fan, two separate circuits. So the one that's turning on the compressor on this air, I mean, the one that's turning on the fan on this air conditioner is likely bad. If you can get your fan spinning, it will cool your house. The fan's job is to pull the hot air out of the system. As soon as you get that fan spinning, you'll feel lots of warm air coming out of your air conditioner. If you can't get this working, you can use a box fan to limp along until you can get the part fixed. But ideally, you'll get the fan in the air conditioner spinning until you can get your new capacitor. Capacitors are fairly cheap. You can find them at local air conditioner supply stores, anywhere that sells refrigerator, air conditioner parts, that kind of stuff, appliance parts. Um, you can find the capacitors usually for less than $40. That's the most expensive one I've seen. Or you can order the parts online. So we're gonna look at how to remove the capacitor today. So one trick that I learned from a professional was to take a home fan, box fan, and lay it on top of your air conditioner. This pulls some of the warm air out from around the compressor and allows the air conditioner to cool itself. It's not gonna be as ideal as the fan built into the air conditioner, but it's better than nothing. You could also cool it down with the water. You could run a sprinkler on it to cool it down. I just didn't feel comfortable spraying water directly on the compressor, even though I know it gets on when it rains. But I'm gonna run this like this for now, since we have guests coming over tonight, in hopes that it will limp along and not warm up anymore in our house. If I can maintain the current temperature, we'll be fine. The first and most important step to working on your air conditioner is cutting the power. Most units have a box outside next to the air conditioner. This particular unit has a uh, pull fuse. All I do is pull. All I have to do is pull this out, and the unit cuts off. I can set it on top without danger of it coming back on, and. I know that there is no power going to the unit. The next step is to trace the power cord into the air conditioner. Wherever the power cord enters the air conditioner, you'll notice that there's a panel that's removable. I've already removed the screws on this one. And I will now remove the panel that covers up all our components. Now that we have the panel removed, we can see the parts inside the system. It's normal to have some spider webs and things in here. It's a nice warm area where bugs like to hide. But you have a control panel here. You have a your capacitor here. That's the round end of it. 
where the back side of it is inside on this unit. Sometimes they're mounted on the outside, sometimes they're inside. It's not much of a difference it's just uh, how the way the how the air conditioner is configured. And you can see the capacitor has several spade tips on it. Remember the capacitor stores power. So the first thing we need to do is discharge it. So always think safety before working with electrical components. Anytime I'm working with electrical components, I like to put on gloves that have a rubber coating on them. I also have a screwdriver that I've wrapped with electrical tape as an additional, additional precaution, even though it already has a rubber handle. I cross the screwdriver across all the different spades on the capacitor in order to discharge any power that may be remaining. I recommend taking a picture of the cap of the capacitor so you can remember where the wires go. The next step is to remove the spades from each of the post on the capacitor. You can do this using a pair of needle nose pliers. Once you have all the spades removed, you can then remove the screws that hold the capacitor in place and carefully work the capacitor out of the slot that it's stuck inside. Once you get the capacitor off, you can look at it and find the numbers. And this is a plus or minus 5%. So 55 or 555 UF. And that's what you need to order. You need to make, make sure all the numbers match. But if you just take this to your local appliance store, they will be able to match it for you, no problem. All right, so I have the new capacitor installed. It was a little thinner than the other one. So since the way it's mounted, I had to put some electrical tape around it to make it fit in the hole. I reconnected my wires, the orange to common, brown to fan, and the purple to the compressor, which is labeled Herm. And we will now fire it up and see what happens. I switched the air conditioner back on inside the house. So now we'll put the switch back in the breaker box and see what happens. Compressor kick on, so we should be good to go. 